one of my kind of like secret smaller resolutions was that I really wanted to make an effort in my wardrobe and the first item I bought of 2019 for myself clothing wise was this red sweatshirt. Do I have a plain red sweatshirt very similar to this in my wardrobe already? Oh hell yeah! But I also said fuck it, do whatever the fuck you want, who cares? And that's another resolution of mine for 2019 so technically they cancel each other out and I'm not doing good or bad. Oh no. Hi, my name is Grace Alba. If you didn't know, now you know your life is different now. Welcome to a cooking video. I woke up this morning and I was craving matzo ball soup. To be fair, I've been craving matzo ball soup since the end of 2018. Every, it's not fair to say every morning, that's a lie. And I never lie to you. You look great. For like the last two months of last year, I kept waking up all, like every other day craving matzo ball soup thinking maybe I'll make it today and I never did. And this morning, you know what? I craved it. I said, I have a car and knives in my house so let's go get ingredients and let's make it and then I decided let's film it because I want to film things that I genuinely enjoy doing this year. <coughs> One of them is having my voice crack like a boy going through puberty which is also the inspiration for how I'm dressed today. I want to film things that I genuinely enjoy doing and I was gonna make this for myself anyway today so may as well bring you along for the ride. I've never made matzo ball soup before. I'm already at a disadvantage because I couldn't find matzo meal which is part of the recipe but Martha Stewart online said that I can crush up some crackers and that's kind of the same thing so always trust someone that's been to jail. So let's just jump right in because I have a feeling this is going to take longer than I anticipate and I will slowly decrease in my enthusiasm for this activity throughout this video. I went on Pinterest to look for a recipe and I found one on budgetbites.com. I'll link it down below. You know what? In classic race fashion, I haven't fully read through this recipe at all. It says it only takes an hour and a half, which already feels like a lot. This year, you know, we say yes to the dress and the stress. Wanna digest some matzo balls with me? Hey, digesting balls, let's do it. Oh, I didn't do any meal prep. <laughs> Fuck me. First things first, we need to mince garlic, two cloves of garlic, but this bitch already has minced garlic. Hell yeah. I did do some meal prep. We need to dice one yellow onion. The funny thing, or maybe this is not funny, thing is that a lot of people have trouble with onions and like tearing up when they cut them. I hardly ever do. And I think it's because, um, I don't have feelings. Okay, now we need three stalks of celery. Why do they sell celery in this amount? No one ever needs this amount of celery. Like maybe three stalks max, unless you own a Bloody Mary bar. Sorry, I'm really taking it to the celery industry in 2019, not holding back. I'm choosing the important things to get upset at this year. Did it, okay. Now we need three carrots. I really should have done this off camera. <laughs> you guys look appealing, oh. Actually, I'm just gonna do this off camera. Okay, so we have our onions, carrots, celery, and garlic. We're gonna put one tablespoon of vegetable oil or canola oil in a big old pot on the stove. Oh, that's too much. I think that's too much. Hold on. God damn it. And saute all of them until the onions are soft and transparent and or, you know, five minutes generally. Okay, so that pot's still going right now, has a couple more minutes. And the next step says to add chicken breast and then chicken broth and water and dill to the mixture, but it doesn't say to cook the chicken breast, and I'm pretty sure you're not supposed to add raw chicken breast to this, so I'm gonna just cook it, because I'm scared. What a dupe thing to do, beginning of 2019, give yourself salmonella. I mean, I already roofed myself at the end of 2018. I wanna leave that self-harm last year. Oh, my timing is all off now. Okay, so. This is what happens when I feel overwhelmed with uh, multitasking. My hands completely go paralyzed and stop working. Cute! Okay. Chicken's pretty cooked, so now we're gonna add chicken. Six cups of chicken broth, two cups of water, and some cracked pepper, and a couple sprigs of dill. And then we're gonna bring that to a boil, and when it reaches a boil, we're gonna let it simmer for 30 minutes. Whew, that was a mouthful. I think that's the correct stuff that we're doing. This looks dirty. It's not, it's just watermarks. Okay, don't judge me. Okay, okay, let's, t let's just, let's all calm down and just take a second and pause before we move on to the next step. Okay, I just need to uh, set. I did this myself. Everyone calm down. Everyone's calm, we're having fun. So you know how I told you that I didn't have matzo meal? Um, turns out I did in my cabinet and I realized this has been the inspiration for why I've been wanting to make matzo ball soup for so long because Drunk Grace, I guess, ordered this on Amazon one night when she wanted matzo ball soup and it's been in my cabinet for months. How I didn't remember that was in there, I don't know. Doesn't matter, we have matzo meal so I don't need to 
grind up crackers. Sorry, Mrs. Stewart. Here's how we make the matzo ball dough. In a medium bowl, we're gonna whisk together three large eggs and three tablespoons of vegetable oil. Slam. Two eggs. Three eggs. Ah, ah, ah. One, two, three. Get your fucking shell in here. Get out. You can't hide like a kid that got into a club underage. Get out. Then we're gonna add our matzo meal or matzo meal. I don't know generally anything about anything. A teaspoon of salt, half a teaspoon of baking powder. Teaspoon. Oh god. Is that good luck? Do I have my left shoulder, right? Okay. Stir until it's well combined. Oh, it looks like that. Whoa. Looks like oatmeal or some sort of yeast infection. You. Add three tablespoons of water and stir until smooth again. <laughs> then it says refrigerate for 30 minutes to allow the matzo meal to absorb the liquid. Which is great because our soup is now boiling and we're gonna turn it down to a simmer for 30 minutes. Timing is working out. 2019. Kicking the tank. Now let's set a timer. I'm gonna use Siri. I never use Siri. Siri, set a timer for 30 minutes. Setting the timer. Okay, your timer is set for 30 minutes. Oh my god, I'm fucking murdering 2019. Okay, so our timer is almost up, but I was reading more of the recipe, which is apparently something you should do when you're following a recipe. It's like really read it, probably read all of it before you start cooking. And it said, when the soup is done simmering, take the chicken out and shred it, and then return it to the simmering soup. And I tried to do that to the best of my ability. Maybe I was supposed to put raw chicken in there. Okay, how much longer do we have? We have a whole minute left on our timer right now, which, um, you know, I don't know if you're familiar with previous cooking videos uh, that I've done, but there's only one thing to really do while we wait. Never accuse me of being afraid of commitment. Let's check our matzo. Whoa, it looks kind of the same. Sure, right? We form it into ping pong sized balls and then we put it in the simmering soup and then we let it simmer for another 20 minutes. Um, I guess we take it out. Ooh, all right. Maybe this should have sat longer. I don't know if the ratio is right. I feel like this is gonna fall apart. This seems way too loose. Should I let this absorb the mixture for a little bit more? Unless this is how it's supposed to be? Uh, do you have a photo? Oh God, uh, I touched my laptop with the gross hand. Like this seems a little runny. Fuck it, we're gonna try it. I <laughs> don't think this is right. There was a recipe for the matzo on the side of the box and I ignored it and went with this. Maybe this is wrong, who knows? God damn it. <laughs> They're just like, you know, abstract balls. What a girl says to a guy to be polite. I have low expectations. Expectations it is my whole 2019 mantra, by the way. Oh no, they're getting together. Stop touching each other, guys. It's going bad. It's going really bad. Now we're gonna let that simmer for 20 minutes. Who the fuck knows what's gonna come out of that? It's not so much gonna be matzo ball soup as it is gonna be just like gross. Damn it! I really wanted this to work. So the recipe on the side of the matzo ball box is uh, entirely different than the recipe that I was using. Maybe should have gone with what was on the box. We're risk takers. High risk, no rewards. So there's only a couple more minutes left on the timer for this soup and it looks fucking crazy. Bummer because this whole idea was just, I wanted matzo balls and the soup was just the catalyst to get me the matzo balls. So there's two packs in this matzo ball mix. And so I have put together the second pack just out of pure ego for myself using what they told me to do on the box. Only two eggs and a fourth cup of vegetable oil and let it sit for 15 minutes. I'm gonna do that. And then in a giant pot, boil a bunch of water and then make the matzo balls with your hand and boil them in the water for 30 minutes. I'm in the process of doing, this is boiling. I made this, it's been sitting for a little bit. I might just take out the 
really horrific looking matzo balls from the soup and then work on these just because I really want this to work. And now that we're in this together, I don't want to fail. I also just want to eat decent matzo. That's where we are right now. Okay, quick update. I pulled out one of the, you know, seemingly horrific looking matzos and I just tried it and it's pretty good. Maybe this is just another reminder that you shouldn't judge people by their appearances. I have all people should be respecting that moral code. I still am gonna try and make the second batch of matzas. Woo, pretty fucking good. Don't judge a book by its cover. Eat it out first. Eat it first. Holy shit, that was infinitely easier when you mix them with wet hands and they actually look like matzo balls. That's a matzo ball there. There's some there. God, learn from your mistakes. Okay, then we're supposed to reduce the heat to a simmer, cover, and cook for 30 minutes. Way later now. I'm sweaty. I just took my dog for a walk. This is taking longer than expected, but we expected that. So it's just taken time. I boiled them for about 20 minutes, and then I took out from the soup some of the unique er looking matzo balls to make room for the second batch of matzo balls and let them boil in there for the last 10 minutes. I left in, you know, some of the the quirky ones. Timer's almost up and we're gonna pour ourselves some fucking soup because fuck, we wanted this and we're doing it. And you know what? We didn't stop. We didn't give up. We didn't um, need to do this. You probably could have gone and found a restaurant that delivered and gave us some mozzarella soup, but no, not in 2018, 19, 2019. Here we go, let's see how it looks. Oh my God, oh my God. Oh, ow, ow, it's hot. Whoa, this is like a Campbell's Soup commercial. Uh, aren't those commercials all about like how it's winter and like dad's gone, so just give the kids soup. Cute. Oh, okay, so this was some of our first batch of matza. And this was our second batch. So proof that there's growth everywhere. Give up, try again. Whoa, eat shit, Martha Stewart. I'm like really proud of myself. And I also know that this video doesn't appeal to a lot of people because I don't know that there's many teens out there watching this video that also crave matzo ball soup enough to make it on their own. But if you want to, just mark off, you know, like four hours on an afternoon. Okay, I'm gonna taste it now, even though it's hot as fuck. I've made this joke before, but if you ever wonder what I look like giving a blowjob. <laughs> All right. Oh, that's even too gross for me. You know what? Use the finger food. Yes, yes, yes. That's what I wanted this morning when I woke up. Now it's only 4.30 p.m. in the afternoon. That's so good. Okay, well, that's it for this matzo ball soup making journey. I hope you guys enjoyed it. If you did, give this video a thumbs up. And don't forget to subscribe to this YouTube channel because this year, we're just having fucking fun. What we used to do. Michael Buckley's back on YouTube. I just texted him that maybe 2019 is the return to the sweet, wonderful, fun, flying by the seat of our pants 2007-ish era of YouTube. And I truly hope so. This is a video where I made soup. I mean, that's pretty fucking exciting. So hit the bell notification, turn on bell notification. I don't know how the fuck you do it. All the things that you're supposed to do that all the other YouTubers that play the game tell you to do. Do that for my channel, please. Thank you. Other than that, I don't know. One of my lenses is exposed. Sorry, sorry. Oh god, oh god, oh god. Everything is going, oh god. Oh god, okay. Cool, good day. I'm proud of myself. Remember this moment, cause it only goes downhill from here the rest of the year. You know that song, Panic at the Dick, Dick, Dick So or something?